Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with maybe the fastest possible cosplay transformation I have in my collection. I am wearing a shirt that says 44 on it, three quarter sleeve baseball shirt. Uh, fans of the film Mandy with Nicolas Cage might recognize this as the shirt he's wearing in the film Mandy, which was produced by my friends over at Legion M who produces movies, they also make memorabilia, and they sent me this, but this isn't the only thing they sent me because they also make a licensed mask of Nicolas Cage that is sculpted by mask genius Rubber Larry. That is literally his business name. Rubber Larry is known for making stunt masks for stunt people in films. I'm just gonna show this to you. This is the Nicolas Cage and this is latex. This is latex. And I gotta say, like, right here, it feels like I'm standing next to Nicolas Cage, but we're gonna go for the full transform here. Here we go, everybody. Uh, oh, 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 hearing aids. Ah. Uh, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I don't have one of the masks from Mandy, but I. I do have one of these. So I figured this is a little Marvel Legion mashup. <laughs> yeah. I'm like making an expression inside the mask. That's unnecessary, right? Oh. There is a, um, <sighs> this is beautiful. This is really, really lovely work. Um, there is a, 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 a renaissance going on of silicon masks on Etsy, on eBay, on Amazon, uh, and there's some real duds in the mix. This is latex, and Rubber Larry is a, just an unqualified master at this. Um, just see the, the simple pour in here. So it's poured into a plaster mold, but the hair work is excellent, the blood work is excellent, and the likeness. Dude, the likeness. Yeah, uh, we'll include links to Rubber Larry's incredible work in the description below, plus links to Legion M's various outputs. Um, my friends at Legion M, I can't thank you enough for this addition to my collection. And yeah, I'm totally gonna wear this out on the floor of some con because there is not an easier costume to bring to a con. I just need to find an ax in whatever city I'm in and wander around. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do this one more time. Oh yeah, it's so easy to put on. Oh. I should have aimed for the head. I've kept on being um, inarticulate or I have felt at a loss for words in describing this because there's two aspects that it is amazing on. One is the sheer technical aspect of that. This is just a really beautifully made heavy latex pour uh, and that masks of this quality are, are not common. So I really appreciate it from that standpoint. And the hair work and all the actual physical details of it are also really nicely done. The gloss on the eyes, the fact that you look out through the eyes instead of through a void, like, all of that brings the character much more forefront. And then in addition to that, there is the likeness, which is, it's not enough with something like this to get it topologically correct. An artist like Rubber Larry is working kind of like a caricaturist. They're not making it look precisely like Nick Cage. They're making it, he is making it look precisely what you think Nick Cage should look like. And those are two different things. And the second one is much harder to make work. And I, I love looking at Rubber Larry's work because he really has this sort of preternatural ability to get likenesses that are like, wow, that's exactly what they should look like. That There's no uncanny valley with this. Yeah, um, I brought this home. I literally, I think my wife saw about that much and she was like, you can put that back in the bag. And I was like, I'll take it back to the game. <laughs> there are just some things that don't belong in the house. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, 
but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.